Hi, I'm going to show you how to properly install the Armadillo 360 cam protector from He Dog Archery. This particular illustration will be for the S1 or the solid limb version of the product. We also have an SL2, which is for the split limb bows. They install basically the same way with a few minor adjustments. The installation instructions, which are inside the package, uh, will illustrate the differences for you. So first off, uh, let's open the package and go through what comes with the product. We have the lower body portion, the ground gripper, the uh, 1032 bolt along with the top plate and the top cap with your 3M adhesive uh, in this package here. And then here's your installation instructions. So let me set this aside. First thing you want to do is test fit the product. To do that, we will take these pieces out of the package. We'll take our bolt, put it through the top plate right here. This is the top plate. Slide it through the top. Then we have our lower body portion here. On the lower part of your bow limb, You've got a void right here in the limb. This is where the product's going to be installed. So we want to take, basically to slide the bolt right through that void. I'm going to get this finger tight here. Let's see here. I'm going to take an Allen wrench and take it on down just a little bit here. Sometimes if you're, the, the instructions do say finger tight. To illustrate that, that would be exactly what it means. Uh, is as tight as you can get with your finger. If the bolt happens to hang up there for whatever reason, you can use an Allen wrench, but please don't over tighten it with the Allen wrench right here. You just want to get it to the bolt head to bottom out on the top plate. Now once, once we have that done, what we're going to do is line it up, make sure we have a total cam clearance on the bottom. We're even on both sides. The top plate is in uh, the position we want. And then just take an ordinary, uh, let's see your pencil, I have one here somewhere. And you want to mark on your bow limb very lightly where this product is sitting or where you would like to have it right there, where you have all your clearance, and then also on the top plate. At this point, if you're happy with where it's at, you want to go ahead and uh, let's remove it back off the bow now. Okay, step two. We've test fit the product. Now we're going to permanently install it. Uh, what we want to do here first is take some ordinary uh, rubbing alcohol, a uh, household uh, rubbing alcohol here. Most every home should have this. On top of the lower body, you'll notice two slightly recessed areas. Uh, wipe those down uh, with alcohol right there. That's to remove any residue that might be on their fingerprints oil. Uh, on the top plate, also you'll notice two little residue, uh, two little recesses there. We want to get all the residue off of those areas also. On your bow limb, where this is going to be attached, go ahead and take the alcohol, rub it on the the top part of the limb, also on the bottom part of the limb. We're looking for a, a nice, uh, nice area where this adhesive can uh, make the best bond. It should be noted that the adhesive is not obviously how the part is attached. It's essentially a little safety measure. We don't want it getting back into the cam. So this is a nice feature just to make sure it stays put. This is 3M's very best adhesive VHP tape and it has a 48 hour setup time to its strongest strength but you'll be fine to go ahead and shoot your bow as soon as you install this. So, Secondly, we want to take the ground gripper and we want to press it into the four holes that's in the bottom of the uh, uh, lower body and if you do have trouble, a little secret here, I'm just going to show you while we're, we're on video, is you can just take some household Windex 
spray it right here on the ground gripper. And sure does make things a lot easier for you. Household Windex has enough alcohol in it that everything that you just sprayed on there will evaporate here shortly. You want to make sure that this little ground gripper is pressed all the way in there where the mushroom heads have actually protruded up into this part of the uh, of the lower body and make sure it's in there all the way. The bow goes through a lot of vibration when you shoot. We don't want it flipping out of there. So uh, This to give it some nice uh, adhesive qualities, sticky uh, qualities for the floor so your bow doesn't slip around. Now at this point the alcohol should have dry, dried on uh, the areas where we rubbed it so we want to take our little adhesive, a uh, little rounded 3M adhesive tabs right here and we want to remove them, careful not to touch the bottom, the sticky part of it. And let's place them in these little voids in the lower body. One, two. Then also you want to do the same thing with the little top plate right here. Go ahead and place them right there in the center. Once you've done that, let's take and peel the white off of them. This is top plate first, so let's go ahead and slide our bolt right back through the top plate. What I like to do is take the top plate and go ahead and slide that bolt right down in the void again. You're doing it just like you did before, essentially in the test fit. When you line up the top plate on your bow limb, go ahead and press it down. The adhesive tabs will also help that stay in position there while you're doing this. Go ahead and tighten the uh, 1032 bolt down again. Finger tight. Okay, we've got it finger tight, so let's check and see if we've lined up with our, our marks on the bottom of the bow limb. Also on the top, make sure we're nice and square. At this point, if you have all archers have these little uh, hex wrenches, these little small wrenches. You want to place it in the top of that screw head. And now watch where it's aligned. This is very important. Where it's aligned, you want to take it exactly one half turn. A half a turn. No more than a half a turn. Then take, once again, check your alignment. Make sure everything is lined up exactly where you might like to have it when you're finished. This one looks good. Take the Allen wrench again. Put it back in there. We're going one more half turn. So a total of one turn. Lined up fantastic right there. Once you're all lined up and you like what you see, you want to take, test draw your bow, make sure you're cleared all the way through. You have the top cap that came with the product. Go ahead and snap fit it right in the top, making sure that the uh, tabs lock in all the way. And you're finished. One thing I would like to mention we do highly recommend that you use blue Loctite and uh, it's a nice thread lock formula that keeps things tight on your bow. I tighten my sights, I tighten my quiver, I tighten my uh, Armadillo 360 cam protector. Everything is tight with Loctite. I don't want it going loose in the field. After your test fit, when you're doing your final uh, installation, it's a good idea to put a thread locker on there and as we suggest here, you know, periodically throughout shooting, uh, check to make sure everything's lined up. Nothing should come loose. Uh, it's pretty much there. I think you'll be happy with what it does for you in the field. It takes your mind off that cam and, and lets you hunt a little better. We appreciate it. Thank you for uh, your support with He Dog Archery. I look forward to seeing you in the field.